one bag. Oh, hello, Mrs. Cow. Uh, yeah, um, don't ask what's going on here. I'm in a bit of a hurry today because there's a lot to do, so no time to muck around. Starting with spending my few hard-earned diamonds on a brand new diamond hoe. You can judge me for my life decisions later on. This is going to come in real handy in a bit. Next, we got to hop back in the boat because that's the only way for me to travel long distances across the ocean. Anyway, today's mission is to find some axolotls, breed an axolotl army, and take them to an ocean monument. So I can get the sponges I forgot to get last time I was here. Currently, I have one, so I need at least one more to be able to breed them. Now to find that lush cave. Oh yeah, okay. Big splash, big splash. There's, there's so many fish. Why are there so many fish in here? Come here, come here. Get in the bucket. I can do this. <laughs> All right, here we go. I should have gone this way to begin. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is so cool. How do I get down without hurting myself? Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh, that was so silly. That was an accident, I swear. I didn't do that on purpose. Hello? Go away. Oh my goodness, uh oh. No, 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 no. Despite my best efforts after searching relentlessly through this massive lush cave, I'd found everything but an axolotl. Oh, oh, where am I going? Whoa, what is that? What is th <gasps> that? also included a big sparkly patch of skull, which didn't lead anywhere, but it was pretty cool to see. So, oh, there's more here. And there's more here. And there's what? I looked everywhere, I searched high, I searched low, and no matter what, I just could not find an axolotl. And so, well, at that point, admittedly, I did get lost. So I had to dig my way out, which turned out to be what? the perfect solution. <gasps> this is, ex okay. Why are they all hiding out here? This is exactly what I wanted. Come here, little yellow, yellow soldier. Join me, join my army, please. I only managed to get one, but you know what they say? Uh. Actually, what do they say? Aiming test, can I snipe the skeleton from all the way back here? No, <laughs> immediately way too low. Let's try again, but higher. I missed again. This is not going very good. Surely this hits. No, what? How am I missing? Okay, surely, come on. Hey, first try, let's go. Boom, natural born sniper, really, but not actually. Start with some bone meal. Grow some kelp. Hey, that's not so bad. That's kind of cool. Some tropical fish. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so I had to rejig the front door a little bit. The pressure plate just looked weird on the glass. Excuse me. Um, but look at that. How cool is that? It's all like shiny. It feels like I'm in a hotel or something. I definitely need way, way more fish, and these guys cannot be trusted in here. They eat them. Um, so I've only got these two guys, and I need to put them somewhere else. Um, and I need to breed them because uh, I don't think we're going to be able to go back to the monument with just two, two fellas. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I could just dig a hole and breed them up like a normal person, but because I'm me, I've got to do it the just the over-the-top way. Right, it's all done. Here we go. How do you guys like your new home? That you, you like it? I hope so. I spent a long time on it. Okay, well, while we swim around, I'm gonna leave this here. It's gonna have some snacks in it. They can get these anytime, but I think I'm gonna take a couple now. Hello. Where's your buddy? Oh, there he is. Hey, come on. <laughs> He's going too fast. <laughs> Climb up here. Where are you going, you crazy animal? Yes, jump. Jump up. Just do a big jump. Come on. You got it in you. Nice. Okay, one for you. And one for you. And let's see what we get. <gasps> Is it just a baby yellow one? Oh, it's so tiny. Okay, well, three is a good start, but we're going to need more than that. It's definitely not enough. All right, I've done quite a lot of breeding now. 
I ended up running out of fish, so I had to dig, I had to dip into my aquarium a little bit, but we should now have enough for a little bit of an army. Uh, we're gonna leave some behind though, so that we can rebuild. Oh man. The MVP cow. Wow, I forgot about you. That's so bad of me. You know what? You're coming in clutch one more time. And there we go. We got some milk. Thank you very much again. Your service has been much appreciated. I'll come back for you another time. I th maybe. I think. Probably not, to be honest. But we're here. It's about to get crazy. Please tell me I left the bed here. So because I'm a genius, I did not bring a bed. There's the monument down there. We're going to have to break in with our, our little uh, platoon of axolotls. And uh, hopefully we can get in there and get these sponges. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. There's another outer, there's another outer guardian here. I did not know. I thought there was just one. <laughs> okay. This might be a little bit more dangerous than I originally anticipated it to be. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's deploy the troops. We got one, two, three, uh, four, five. All right, guys, go get him. Yes. Little guys, come on, get them. Don't you dare hit them. Oh, I forgot they've got like a cooldown. Where's my... Tr tr I didn't even drink my potion. What am I doing? Yes, get them. Oh, no. I hit my own guy. Okay. Mistakes were made. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Okay. Okay, cook. It's, it's time to retreat. Everyone, get back in the buckets. Back in the buckets. I needed, I needed way more than five. This is, this is sad. Where's my axolotls? We got one up here fighting for his life. Get him. Stop hurting my axolotl. Where's my guys? Where are they? No. I think they all died. I think they actually all died. <laughs> That's so sad. I can't believe this. You took all of my axolotls from me. Honestly, I thought five would be enough. You know, maybe I lose one or two along the way, but for all of them to get obliterated within like 30 seconds, I did not see that coming. I'd come all this way, so I wasn't ready to give up on the mission just yet. I swam around the monument by myself, taking out the two remaining outer guardians, and ultimately locating and collecting the sponges. Let's get these sponges. What is this thing? Is there anything inside here? Whoa, there's gold in here! No way! Dude, that's a lot of gold too. There's so much gold. Nice! That is it. I can't, that is so sad. It's so sad, I can't believe all my little dudes. They didn't last five seconds in here. Okay, they lasted about 10, but... Dang! Is anyone thinking about raiding an ocean monument with five axolotls? You're probably gonna need maybe double that, at least. <laughs> all right, so these sponges, they're currently wet sponges. We need to dry them out if we're gonna use them again. Uh, and we can do that two ways. We can do that the normal way by putting them in a furnace. We can do it the fun way. Good morning, bees, all of you. Good morning, all of the bees. <laughs> that gave me a fright. Uh, we can do it the fun way by taking them to the nether. Now, do I have my little tokens on me? Little gift to the tree fairies. Can I come through the portal to the ancient dimension? All right, see you on the other side. Oh man, okay, here we are in my nether. Look at that is terrifying. This biome. Uh oh. Can I hit it with the trident from here? Oh! I just missed it. Oop. <gasps> Get it. Oh, snap. Oh my goodness, look at me. Okay. Yeah, the nether is dangerous. Uh huh. So we can just put them down. Look at that. And they just dry out just like that. It's like doing your laundry in the nether, essentially, right? Taking it to the dry cleaners, something like that. And we just mine them up again. And yeah, that's it. Nice. 
Then we head back. I didn't have any immediate use or plans for the sponges. I was just going to put them into storage, but uh, yeah, kind of, I'm, I'm all out of storage at the moment uh, to the point now where my chests are just kind of like sprawling around everywhere, just all over the place in places that they shouldn't be. So I had to, I had to do something about that, which took me back to the original intended use of the train guys station. Originally, I wanted to have it so that I could go mining or do sort of jobs anywhere in this world and send the send the minecarts up the tracks uh, back this way past the station um, and in here was going to be the sort of the main storage room I could come and get off here uh, or I could leave the chest minecarts to go all the way up here then go up this ramp turn the corner through here and then this would be kind of like a big offloading station there'd be chests everywhere but I never did it and it's all empty so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to finish the job I began by setting up a suspended minecart track so that the minecarts could come in and out of the station. I chose to make this out of polished deep slate because it just looked industrial and added a nice contrast against the wood. After that I added a redstone contraption that would hold the minecart while it offloaded the items. When it was empty, it would then let it go and release it back into the wild. Alright, sun's coming up, it's a brand new day, I'm just having some breakfast. It's time to test this, I think it should work now. So we got our minecart, it's gonna have stuff in it, I've just been mining. All I got was 23 stone, hit that, and it's off. Let's run inside now, it should come up here, there it goes. And when it's finished offloading, it should ride back out right now. <laughs> it should go right now, okay, oh there it goes, okay there it goes. Apparently 23 is a lot of stone, but yeah, there it is. Off back to do another mining session. The station is finally now doubled as a storage room which is amazing. It's the most organized I've been in my entire life. Here it is. Uh, so as we saw, all of this stuff comes in this way. It filters down into these chests so I can grab my things and then put them where they need to be. So I think this is pretty much everything that I want to sort. There's probably more stuff that I can add to this, but I definitely think this is pretty good for now. There's a few missing spots for things that I'm still yet to get. Uh, I've also got a little workstation in the middle with all the necessary blocks. Got the extra ones over here as well. Even added a little smelting station in here as well, so we can um, put some like stone or whatever comes down, gets smelted, uh, goes in here. So we got some terracotta as well, um, and I can just go right over here to my terracotta chest, pop it in there. So it's all working pretty good. If I go up around the back here, I can go up, and there's even a little service ramp, and so you can see all the tracks and everything up here which is pretty cool. If I come back downstairs and wrap around here, it takes me down another passage, which leads me to a little dispenser, which activates a little sort of getaway cart. Um, so I can run out this way and head back down into the mines, but uh, I don't have enough track. So it just goes there for now. So we'll finish that one day like the rest of this, but I think that's, uh, I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm also pretty organized as well. Despite having built both a extra little sanctuary and revamping my whole storage, I feel like I haven't done that much building over the last couple episodes. And for me, that's the one thing that really makes me feel like I'm progressing in the game. More than diamonds, more than enchantments, more than beating bosses, placing blocks, for me feels like uh, writing another page in my journal or my diary. And with all the ocean adventures that we've been on lately, I feel like it's finally time to publish that aquatic update chapter and build myself that little dock town that I've wanted to do for so long now. Here is my house, that's where I live, and down here are my boats. Um, and the <laughs> drown keeps shooting them with tridents and breaking them open. All the stuff, contents, goes everywhere. And the sugar cane's just annoying, it's in the way now. Uh, and then because it's not lit up, creepers keep dropping down here, blowing holes in the ground. So this is, I need, okay, so there's, there's a list. What do I need? For starters, I need a place to park my boats. I also need a way to protect them from drown blowing them up. Uh, and it all has to look good. That's my most important rule. Okay, so I got a little bit of cleanup that I need to do, but more or less, that is the docks finished. And these buildings aren't here just to look pretty. No, they've, uh, inside, they've got 
Okay, uh, not that one. Oh, okay, maybe the, they are here just to look pretty. Uh, yeah, at the moment, all of these builds, completely empty. But rest assured that they will get interiors soon enough, I'm sure. You may be thinking, though, that, wow, this is a pretty big dock for such little boats that are in the exact same spot that you left them when you started. And you would be right. It's a, <laughs> it's a lot going on. And the boats, uh, the, it's not doing its job. They're not protected. Well, that brings me to possibly my favorite thing about this entire build. This, my friends, is what I'm calling the low-res multi-car garage, fit with security door and everything. So, uh, no break-ins, no breakouts. Let's uh, let's take a look. So, say you've just been out for a big day fishing. Let's say this is us. Maybe even exploring, exploring even. We gotta swing it out here. Say we're uh, we're fanging it back from a from a good job, good day fishing. Hit the hit the whatever this is, the button, the sensor. Make sure you lock it behind you as well, or else, uh, you know, the dog could get out. Uh, and then, yeah, we cruise on into our catacomb-esque looking place. If you're feeling a bit zesty, you can chuck it in reverse, overshoot, and uh, just butter it in there. Clearly, I need a bit of practice. Holy, <laughs> all over the show. All right, I need a bit of, I need some driving lessons with Dad. There we go. And uh, I put some signs up just so we can remember why we do what we do. It's a little bit catacombsy. A little bit dungeony, but I think it's the perfect setup for a nice multi-car garage. And because we backed it in, we can just shoot out again uh, off on our next adventure. So until then, stay safe and thanks for watching.